Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on scientific and historical evidence. So those who do not want to face the truth, please do not continue to watch this video. So yesterday I shared the moving forward of the ancient Wing Chun. And after that, I got many messages from our Wing Chun friends worldwide, including uh, some Asian Wing Chun friends. So there's a discussion between me and these friends on is Wing Chun is a concept art. And uh, so I like to share with you what I share with uh, the ancient Wing Chun friends. So please just uh, give a, a make a, a snapshot on this first. Okay, snapshot on this. Okay. Now, is Wing Chun a concept art? No, ancient Wing Chun is a technology, not a concept art. So here I'm talking about ancient Wing Chun or the United States of America Wing Chun technology. Okay, It is a technology, not a concept art. So it is not free for everyone to interpret whatever they like because oh this is a concept i can interpret whatever the way how i want and everybody is right it is not that one must know what it is to make it works okay so the, for the in, ancient wing chun one need to know exactly what it is to make it works so I was uh, chatting with uh, this Wing Chun friends on some well-known Wing Chun term. And uh, asking what is this term is about? Is that a concept or it is up for everybody's guessing? Okay. So it is in here. Let's go through the, 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 the well-known Wing Chun terms where everybody well-known, but what is it, okay? The first in Cantonese is called Chiong Gok, Chiong Gok. In, China, uh, in Mandarin, it's called Chiang Jiao. In English, it's rob the angle. You want to rob the angle, take the angle. Robbing, take a certain angle. Okay, so, so that's the first thing. The second thing is in Cantonese, yap wai or sik wai sometime. Depend on who you talk to, yap wai, sik wai. In English, it's called occupy the position. Okay, so that's the second term, which is well known. The third is stick, tip. Tip, okay, the sticking. Tip is sticking. The force is big, pressurized, pressure, okay, press, pressure. The fifth is jit, intercept. The sixth is feng, seal off. Okay, so you have this sixth term here, which is everybody talk about. The old timer talk about it. And uh, today, there are still many people talk about it. So what are they? Now, if it is about uh, concept and up for everybody's guess, such as this occupy the position. Well, again, we got the, the, the tripod here. Again, this is the back leg. This is a front leg. This uh, simulate, emulate 
me like that okay so you talk about occupy the position say why then i can say oh i have to walk this way or walk this way no up for there are many interpretation out there okay but you know what is that rob the angle and say why rob the angle and occupy the position actually it's just one move one move yes as i showed this morning in other video the opponent is like this i'm like that this is front by uh front face the opponent square okay so facing square and I just have to go this 15 degree angle in okay make sure I get in that is what is the rub the angle and occupy the position so the the the, the term occupy uh, 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 rub the angle and occupy the position is just that okay now sticking 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 mean my upper upper body is stick at him so this guy is like this right I get this close my body is sticking at his body that's called tip okay big or pressure okay or, or sometimes called big bow pressure steps well when i'm here i am my leg is in between of his two legs i control his uh his his uh, his legs that is pressure or the big this is the pressure okay now he strike me he's striking me and i go in like that that is intercept i intercept that this is a strike i intercept him right so that he will he will not be able to handle it uh, execute his uh, his uh, his attack this is an intercept okay now for sale off so the the opponent is this way When I get 15 degree in, his back hand is now get still off. In other words, is opponents like that try to strike like that, and I'm here. Okay, the, 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 the opponent is here. Standing here. This hand cannot get out because this is so close already. Okay, his leg is here. This cannot cannot uh cannot uh, strike out this is intercept this is seal so all this rub the angle occupy the position sticking pressure intercept seal off you can make a, a what do you call it a, a movie on it okay a concept interpretations and then you can write a book of it but it's, if you know what it is is as simple as this. It's as simple as this. That's all. But of course, you need to have the momentum handling, have the recycling momentum handling, and you have to have your breathing, or else nothing works, and you need to for sure. Your upper body stick at his body this pressure at him and you intercept his strike and then you actually seal off so that he cannot do the next step uh, next strike okay this strike will not come out because you seal it off already he's in the position he have to move away before he can manipulate on his the other hand so
it is just one move. Simple. But if people don't know this, one can keep speculate on this six terms and uh, making movies on it or making many movies on it. Still, one do not know what it is. And for, for ancient Wing Chun, every move, it consists of that six. Every move, it consists, consists of that, uh, that six. So that six is within your Wing Chun uniqueness of shoot in and sticking fighting. Okay. So that's what I share with everybody. Wing Chun is ancient Wing Chun. It's not a concept like today in Asia or the version 1960 where everybody have their interpretation. Ancient Wing Chun we know it today by evidence The what I share with you, that six is there. So every Wing Chun move have the six. So the lower part of body handle the lower part of body. The body handle the body. The hand handle the hand. And that's Wing Chun. Simple, right? But then it is really holistic. And at every move, you have that be it in your shooting or sticking fighting so this is what i like to share with you in the asia wing chun or 1960 wing chun everybody free to do whatever they like interpret or speculate or whatever they like but in ancient wing chun that's what it is so when the ancient talk about the six type of uh, terms it is just telling which part of the of the uh, of the execution is just like a an elephant one term is talking about the head one talk uh, one term is talking about the tails but it is the elephant now we need to know the elephant if one doesn't know the elephant then we say oh there's a nose there's a head there's a tail there's a leg there's the trunk then everybody speculate on the the nose, the 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 the, 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 the what the trunk of the 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 the, the tooth of the uh, elephant, the ear of the elephant, the tail of the elephant, the body of the elephant, but nobody know what the heck is going on. So this is what I like to share with you. It has to get this precise and accurate, or else. You cannot make that thing works because the ancient Wing Chun is designed hundreds of years ago. It's not up for anybody to interpret or to speculate. Of course, after you know it, you can, uh, you can evolve it to be better. But no matter what, it is a sticking body short strike. It never stands in front like the stand in front of uh, the wooden dummy you play this and then you say i pressure him no pressure you mean you pressure that is pressure you stick and the pressure at the same time okay 